Welcome to Portugal, Set to Ball 2012. This is the annual Eurovision event of OGA Portugal. Eric is sitting next to me and it's the first time that you are here actually, no? Very first time and we're having a great time here. The rehearsals are going on behind us and uh, we've got a Moldovan, a former Moldovan representative from Helsinki 2007. Who was that? That was Natalia Barbu. And Hi. She, she was fighting. Nice, nice to Hi. see you and meet you. Hello, hello guys. It's nice to see you back again after five years. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Uh, it's nice to see you again, guys. It's uh, it's really amazing. What are your biggest memories from your revision 2007? All, all of this contest is uh, amazing uh, experience. You know, it's it's different from all the rest of contests and everything. And if you ask me, I'd like to to live this ex uh, this experience one more time and again and again. Wow, fantastic. So you, you would be willing to represent your country again at Eurovision? I'm thinking about this. <laughs> oh, I'm not too. Excellent. Yeah. So when you got back home to uh, Moldova, how were you welcomed? Did people uh, that year? give you support? Uh, support? Yes, people was very supporting, but um, uh, it was, it, you know, I was traveling a lot. I had concerts. Uh, most of them uh, were in uh, Ukraine, Belarus. Fantastic. Now, how is it for you to smell Eurovision here again? Because now you are at the Eurovision event of Portugal. Have you been at any other Eurovision events after 2007? That year, yes. I've been uh, in a different uh, kind of uh, concerts, Eurovision concerts. But uh, now we are in 2012, you know, and uh, it's was five years ago and uh, I would love to, to go uh, and meet my uh, colleagues and my, uh, Your friends? Yeah, my fans, mm -hmm. I would love to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You met uh, Pasha Parfeni, are you good friends uh, with Pasha? Uh, or do you, have you ever performed together? No, actually we, we don't have uh, songs uh, together but uh, we're good friends and uh, we're a small country and uh, it's normal that we, we, uh, we are very close. What did you think of his entry this year, Lautar? Sorry? What did you think of his song, Lautar? Yeah, I, I loved it. I loved it, yep. really. It's a great song, yeah. Okay. What material, what songs, music have you been releasing after 2007, after your performance at Eurovision? Different styles. I, I've tried, like many other artists, mm -hmm. to be commercial, and I am. <clears throat> I made kind of club music, and uh, I wasn't so grateful about it because. And I came came back to my style. I made some uh, lyric songs, mm, uh, good music, you know. Because it's very important if you have voice to show this voice, not to hide uh, behind the club music or some kind of other styles. You need to show this voice if you have it. Mm -hmm. And um, I tried a lot of styles, but now I'm on my uh, own way, and this is most important for me. I'm, I'm doing very good songs. I'm working with uh, uh, Rosada Music in Romania because I because I live in, in Romania. Uh, we work uh, on our project. We have a lot. We have like three or four songs right now. Uh, maybe we will uh, we'll make an album together. And uh, this is my project for for now. Okay. Uh, are you aiming at a, a career that is going beyond the borders of Moldova and Romania, like international career? Of course. Uh, show me one artist that uh, doesn't want that. Oh, there are, there are <laughs> artists we have interviewed, so they, 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 uh, there's some that really want only to stay in their country and not break the borders. Yeah. There is, yeah. Okay. That's why we asked that question. I'm not that no, kind of artist. I really want to <laughs> to show uh, uh, to people, to show people my uh, my personality and my uh, my voice, and I'd like to uh, to sing everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, do you sing in Romanian or Moldovan? I mean, yeah, I have uh, uh, some songs in Romanian too. Uh, not too many. Well, more of them they are in English. Before Eurovision 2007, uh, how did you actually get to sing or represent your country at the Eurovision? Was it an aim uh, you wanted to do? It was a spontaneous idea. Spontaneous idea. Yes, exactly. Uh, and it was genius actually. <laughs> 
because that song uh, were, uh, was created just in one one night, and uh, I love that song. It, for 2007, it was a great song, and it just happened. Now we're talking about the song "Fight." Fight, fight. C could you maybe give us a bit of a rendition of the song? Can you sing a bit of it? Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> you I, hope I, do. I hope I remember my lyrics. Actually, <laughs> I didn't sing that song like for uh, four years or something. Are you going like to that. sing it tonight? No, no, no. no I, I sing my uh, my recent uh, okay. song. Okay. <clears throat> Never let nobody. Oh, you know the lyrics? Yeah, you know the lyrics. Okay, I'm sorry, I forgot my lyrics. Oh my god, it's embarrassing. Sorry. No, no of course, it's, it's been a long time ago that, that, uh, that you've been doing this. Well, uh, are you a full time musician? Are you doing music all the time or do you have something else to do? Actually, I'm doing music, music all the time, but the most important uh, moment in my life right now that I'm. I'm a mom. Ah, uh, that's a full-time job, I know. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I'm a boy's mom. I have a baby boy, and I'm really, really happy. This is amazing feeling, yeah. How old is your son? Uh, he's eight months old, yeah. Okay. Natalie, uh, what are the, the upcoming projects in, in, your, in your life uh, with music? Thank you very much for Thank taking you. the time.